What's up, guys? How are you? What, uh, what'd you make of that face-off there? I thought those guys were buddies in the yeah. main event. Listen, man, I, I thought all the face-offs were awesome, man. They were all really good. Everybody is super intense today. I love it. Was anything being said? I mean, I saw Usman and Burns, they wouldn't, they, you know, they wouldn't break that lock, but were, were they talking at all? What was no, no, like? they didn't say a word, you know. You know, w w when that happens, I know I'm in a situation where neither one of them is going to want to break first, so I got to try to break it, you know what I mean, or we'll be here for a week. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think about this? Because it feels like this fight is kind of flying under the radar a little bit. Like, it's, you know, not as much hype around it. Do you think maybe people are, are selling Gilbert Burns short or not respecting him as a challenger? I think people are stupid. That's what I think. I think that I remember a time when, uh, when, when people w were bitching about um, Alexander Gustafsson and John Jones. They were like, this is the fight you're bringing. Ah, oh, this is da-da-da-da-da. They'll know after. And unfortunately, you know, if you didn't watch it, you're going to have to go back and watch it again. Those that are in the know and people that know actually know about fighting, no. Yeah. I've been so fucking excited for this fight for so long. And, um, you know, I, I don't ever worry about that stuff. I, I, I don't care about that. We got a badass fight on Saturday night. And if you're smart enough to watch it, good for you. If you're not, too bad for you. It doesn't matter to me. What do you, what do you think about Usman's status as a champion and kind of where he stands? Like, I see people throw out the 30% comment every chance they get to kind of hate on the guy. Do you feel like he's not getting the respect he deserves at this point in his ah, career? Listen, Usman's one of those places that I've seen many guys. Um, you know, U Usman's the guy, the 30% thing, you know, was something that I was crazy about at that time, too. Then he fought RDA, and, and he completely changed the way that I looked at him. And ever since the RDA fight, he's been a stud. The Colby Covington fight is one of the best fights I've ever seen in my entire career. Um, and uh, Usman's one of those guys, he wins tomorrow. And listen, just, just assuming he wins tomorrow is, is silly because this fight is so good and, and, and Burns is such a – he's a three-to-one favorite. That's crazy. That, that's crazy. Um, it just shows that people don't, don't know who Burns really is. Uh, but uh, wh wh where the hell was I going with that? We were talking about – Oh, yeah, Usman tomorrow night, if, if he wins, he breaks George St. Pierre's, you know, uh, win streak record. And, and, and if you look at if he wins tomorrow night at the Killers, he's got Colby again, which, which is a, another ridiculous fight. He's got Masvidal. He's got Leon Edwards. And I think once he, if he continues to win like this, everybody's going to start to go, God damn, this guy's one of the greatest of all time. You mentioned those three names. I mean, that seems like all those guys are kind of jockeying for the number one position, right? Do any of those three names stand out for the winner of this fight? No. I, I mean, there, there's, still, there's still things that, ha that, that I, I think what we do now with, with what happened to Hamza is, you know, we're looking at, at um, Colby versus Leon. The winner of that fight would fight Usman next. Interesting, because I think we, we all thought uh, Colby and Jorge would be tough coaches, and that's the way things would play out. Was that... Is, is that not the case now, or did that change everything? Well, in, in this world we're living in now, things change every minute. You know, it's, it's like, um, you know, Hamzat fought three times in three weeks, and now you can't get the guy fighting in three months. So, you know, just got to kind of roll with it. So, yeah. are, there, are, you, are you worried about Hamzat? I mean, do we need to be concerned about his health long term? No, I, th I, think, that, uh, I think that he didn't get – if you know this guy's mentality, probably didn't listen, probably didn't do what he was supposed to do, definitely not getting the best health care he could possibly get. So I'm going to try to get him out here, get him with some real doctors, get him taken care of, and then, you know, get, get, get him set again. Yeah. We, we had a conference call with his people yesterday and, uh, and Doc Davidson, so we'll get him straight. Nice. This Kobe Leon thing, is that the fight? I mean, do we count on that? Does that look like it's definitely no, I mean, that's to... what makes sense right now. That's the fight that, listen, and, and, and for a guy like Leon, Leon accepts the fight with the number, a, a number 15 ranked guy who is a savage. Nobody else wants to fight this guy. Um, he accepts the fight. The fight keeps falling out left and right. N now this happens to him. We got to go this way with Leon, not this way. So, you know, to show the kid the respect he deserves and, and, and stepping up and, and taking these fights and doing what he's done, get him the right fight. Yeah. Would you do tough with those guys, or do you want to get him fighting faster than that? Um, yeah. Fighting faster? Yeah, fight faster, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll figure tough out. Fair enough. Last thing for me, uh, what's it going to take for you to leave poor Habib alone, man? The guy just wants to retire. <laughs> let, him, let him go off. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to happen. Hey, Dana. Did we lose? Until Habib says, leave me alone. <laughs>
Leave me alone. Stop asking me. I'm done. Otherwise, you just have a dinner like once he, a month. He's not saying happens. that, is he? Has he said that? No, he's, he's, he's taking the meeting. All right. <laughs> did, uh, did we lose Bobby Green and uh, Jim Miller off this card? Bobby Green just collapsed back there. Um, doctors are looking at him. So I don't know, they're trying to rehydrate him right now. Is that, is that a weight cut issue probably? Got to be. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. I don't know, but I'm assuming. Uh, I saw earlier this week that you guys were looking at Conor McGregor versus Dustin Poirier, the trilogy fight. Is that the fight that makes sense for both those guys next? Well, that's, they both want it. So when you got two guys, you know, that want the trilogy as bad as those two do, try to make it happen. Do we have any sort of time frame as to when that could happen? No. This summer. It'll happen this summer. Cool. And th there's, just to clarify, there's probably no chance that Colby versus Leon happens on March 13th, right? Or are you going to try and make it that fight? Would Colby take it on that short notice? Sure. I, I think Colby's been training anyway. I think Colby's ready to, ready to fight. I don't know, but we'll see. I mean, to get, this thing just happened yesterday. We're still scrambling. I, I can't give you dates, and we're, we're, we're trying to figure this stuff out right now. Thanks, Dan. Yep. Dan over here on your right. Hey. Hi. Hi. Uh, Dana, for the last you know, year, essentially, you've been very committed, fights at the Apex or Fight Island. Recently, you confirmed you guys are working on Singapore and going to Asia. Just with everything going on, I guess the decision to expand past these two locations that we've been used to. Yeah, well, I, the one thing I also told you is I'll be first. I guarantee you that I'll be first before anybody else goes. I'll be the first one to sell out a, 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 an arena or a stadium or however it plays out. But we've been talking to, obviously, Florida, who's been an absolute you know, stud state since this whole thing started. Um, and, and now even Vegas, we're talking. So um, we'll, we'll see what happens. But I have the Apex, I have Fight Island, and I have, you know, if, if, if it doesn't go that way, I'm, I'm good. We're, we're, we're dialed in. Do we have an idea about the fan situation that we might see in Singapore, full, full capacity, half, et cetera? That I don't know. I, I don't know what we're going to do as far as fans. You know, I think that if we, we do a full capacity fight, it'll, it'll, be in, uh, it'll be Florida or Vegas. We know that, you know, we don't see it as much here in the United States, but Zhang Wei Li, obviously or, a or big Or Abu Dhabi, deal. actually. I don't know how I forgot about it. Or Abu Dhabi. We know Zhang Wei Li does amazing numbers in Asia, you know, being from the area. I want to know if uh, you're planning to kind of stack that card, her countrywoman, Jian Xionan. That fight seems to be something that could be big in China. Is that something you consider putting her on that card with yeah, Wei Li? We'll have a lot of talent, uh, Asian talent on the, on the card. You know, obviously, if we're in, you know, in Asia, we're going to stack it with the proper, the proper fights for that market. Thank you. Yep. Good. Yeah. Have you gotten the vaccine yet? Have I what? <laughs> Have I gotten the vaccine? Possibly. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Oh, I, I was just wondering, uh, Gina Carano, she's been in the news lately, and uh, I know the UFC's basically had more of a stance of letting the fighters speak their mind. I was, I was just wondering what your thoughts were on that. Leave Gina that. alone. <laughs> you know, listen, we, we, some, we, we, we make mistakes. We all make mistakes, you know. For, for everybody to go in on her. I love how Ariel Hawani made it all about him. It was all about him. Such a douche. But, yeah. Any, any more details on the potential lightweight uh, tournament? That you yeah. I, no, no we, we don't have anything uh, done yet. But, you know, if you look at number one through number nine, number nine being... Uh, Peniel, who was very upset last week and felt like he should be talked about, and he's right. So, uh, number one through number nine is all, you know, the baddest dudes in the world in, in, in that division. So, we'll start putting those fights together soon and, and determine who gets the, uh, to fight for the title, vacant or Habib. So, is the tournament to determine who the champion will be for the lightweight division, or... Or that's separate. You're gonna have that determined separate. What's the, the question? The lightweight tournament. Yeah. Is that is the tournament going to determine who the champion is? Yeah. It's it's not a it's not a proper tournament. It's we'll, we'll, you know we'll, we'll, we'll space these fights out and um, and yeah th those fights will determine who gets a shot at the title or 
fights for the vacant title. Cool. Thanks. All right, buddy.